I'm Trina and it is time for my March reading wrap up. I can't believe the month is already over. Let's check in with what I had put on my March TBR, the books I hope to read this month. Let's see how I did. So you can see that I read three of the four books that I was hoping to get to this month and I did actually start that fourth book but I didn't have time to finish it and the reason that I only read three books and was only hoping to read four books this month is because as you saw in that recap I read A Game of Thrones this month so I was trying to pace myself and give myself a lot of time for that one but I like to talk about the books I read in the order I read them so let's start at the beginning. I started out March by reading Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I picked this one up because it was one of my most anticipated releases of 2015 and if you don't know what this book is about I would definitely classify it as dystopian fantasy and this is a society that is built around red bloods versus silver bloods and the reds are ordinary human beings like you and I and the silvers they have special powers like they can control the elements and in this book we are following our main character Mare who is a red blood just a regular human and all of a sudden she finds out that she has powers too even though no red has ever had powers before and her power is something no one has ever seen there are a few twists and turns and unexpected directions which made it a very interesting entertaining read. There are a lot of familiar themes in the book which make it seem kind of similar to other YA dystopia that is out there, but because it was familiar, I just found that it was really easy to get into. I gave Red Queen 4 out of 5 stars because I found it just to be really gripping and a fun, quick, entertaining read. I read it right after an extremely long, thick, heavy book, so it was exactly what I needed when I picked it up. I really enjoyed it and do want to continue the series. The second book that I picked up in March was A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. I've been wanting to read it ever since, seeing and loving the show, but I never picked it up before now because I was just so intimidated by the size of it and the content of it. I didn't know if I would find it easy or hard to get into, but when I started booktube I saw so many other people really wanted to finally pick this book up too, so I thought let's start a read along and people were interested in that. A lot of us did this together. It was amazing. It made for such a fun month. I feel like everyone's probably already heard something about this book, so I'm not going to summarize it other than telling you it's about a kingdom where everybody wants to seize the throne. I have put up a full in-depth review over this book, so if you want to hear more of my thoughts, you can click on over to that. This book is quite long, so it took me about two and a half to three weeks to actually finish it, which is why I didn't get to very many other books this month, but that's okay because this is over 800 pages. That's like four small books, so I'm okay with that. A Game of Thrones was also counting towards my March TBR Jar Challenge pick, which was to read a new to me author, and I gave Game of Thrones five out of five stars. I really enjoyed it, and that makes it my first five star fiction read of the year. Yay! And the last book that I read in March was Hide and Seek by Sarah Shepard. This is the fourth book in her Lion Game series. I've talked a little bit about this series in the last month's wrap up because I read book three in February, but if you don't know what the series is about, this is a story of two twins who were separated at birth and did not know that each other existed. And the day that they plan to meet, one of them turns up dead. And before anyone can figure out she is dead, the other twin decides to step into her life and pretend to be her sister while trying to figure out who did it. I picked this book up because it is one of my goals this year to finish out the Lion Game series. I was really afraid, especially having read two of these almost back to back now, I was afraid that this book was just going to follow kind of the same formula in terms of who the suspects were, but luckily it didn't. It did kind of switch things up a little bit. We did start to get a few answers and there were a couple of bombshells dropped. So overall I gave this book four stars because it is just a light, fast paced, entertaining mystery, which I enjoy murder mysteries. So that's it. That's actually all I read this month but I'm so quite happy with that since I finally took on a Game of Thrones and got through that baby and I'm feeling very accomplished this month. Let me know what books you read this month and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the comments. Bye!